In my previous videos about the nature of atheism, contemporary atheism, I tried to elucidate that after getting fed up with the hegemony of religion, Europe took to materialism as the alternative way of life. Uh, here in this video, I would like to say one word for denoting the whole corpus of those philosophies of life that the West opted for after saying goodbye to religion. That one word is materialism. Be it Darwin, Marx, Freud, Russell, Machiavelli, or many others who launch a tirades against the spiritual meaning of life and its forms, all converged on one central point, and that is materialism. Be it humanism, individualism, stoicism, hedonism, liberalism, or so many other isms, every single philosophy revolves around the materialistic interpretation of life. What is materialism? Materialism can be defined as a belief that matter is everything and nothing is beyond it. Since everything in the physical world or universe is made from matter in some form or another, this superficial observation of the materialists therefore involves denying the existence of the immaterial soul and what is beyond this physical world. This is a very dangerous mindset as it negates the very human nature and destroys human relationships to uh, extreme levels. Materialism is uh, associated with lower levels of well-being. One turns to materialism uh, when he or she feels insecure are threatened, whether because of rejection, economic fears, or thoughts of death. When such people do not have their needs satisfied, they report lower levels of well-being and happiness, uh, as well as more distress. Such people generally treat others in more uh, competitive, uh, manipulative, and selfish ways, as well as being less empathetic uh, in, in their behavioral attitude. Materialists lead unhappier lives and are worse to the people around them, as individuals with highly materialistic mindsets turn to their possessions to find happiness, instead of turning to other people. As a result, Materialism ruins people's relationships, increases a person's depression and anxiety levels, and makes them less satisfied with their life as a whole. In fact, these people give importance to money and other worldly things. They give up moral values to earn worldly stuff. They believe that there is nothing wrong in resorting to whatever means right or wrong to enjoy the luxuries of life. Research has shown that the more materialistic people become, the more they experience unpleasant emotions, depression and anxiety. And the more depressed they become, the more they develop uh, physical health problems such as stomach aches and headaches uh, and also ul ulcers, stomach ulcers. Conversely, the less materialistic people are, the more content they become and the more content, uh, uh, the, 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 the more they experience pleasant emotions and feel satisfied with their lives. Some researchers have uh, also found that uh, materialism is higher as social media use increases. That makes sense because uh, since most social media messages also contain advertising, which is how social media companies make a profit, media, especially social uh, media uh, channels and platforms, fuels materialistic attitudes by glamorizing celebrities like film stars, sports people, and people who have wealth. 
ordinary people regard such people as icons and try to follow them in their real lives. This drives them towards materialism actually. And when these people uh, f fail to, these, these common people fail to satisfy their emotions, they live emotionally failed and distressed lives. Admiring materialistic celebrities uh, has a direct impact on children's mind also. Boys and girls start cherishing the lifestyles of these celebrities. They want to be as smart as the movie idols and uh, as stylish as these people appear in ads, not in their real life. This makes the rather innocent boys and girls significantly more materialistic than those religious boys and girls who do not imitate such celebrities in their real lives. So, uh, in my humble opinion, materialism's worst kind of ill effect is that it lowers self-esteem. A materialistic person can go to any extent to relish the luxuries of worldly life. In fact, unlike his peers, a materialistic person never experiences happiness at the core of his heart, for he always remains in want. This badly affects the emotional aspect of his personality. He experiences fever positive emotions, remains less satisfied with life and suffers higher levels of anxiety, depression and substance abuse. Uh, t today, a, a good majority of people want to accumulate more and more wealth. They are after money bank balance, luxury cars, and tall and spacious houses. In this race, they feel no shame and no self-esteem in breaking all the standards of religion, humanity, and morality, since charity and helping the needy is by spirit and antithesis of materialism, and greed and selfishness being the natural outcome of a materialistic mentality, Materialists enjoy almost no respect and love in society. This again increases and results in increasing depression in such people by isolating them from the society. In this way, materialism destroys uh, the social fabric and makes people mentally ill. Uh, the, the only solution for the ills of materialism is that uh, uh, people must not be too obsessed with the material world in accumulating wealth uh, uh, for their sustenance in life. For the worldly life is nothing except the enjoyment of delusion. The Holy Quran says that people are naturally tempted by the lure of women, children, treasures of gold and silver, horses of mark, cattle and plantations. These are the enjoyments in the life of this world. But with Allah lies a good abode to return. This is chapter 3, verse number 14. Jesus, peace be upon him, also says that running after the world is like drinking salty water. The more you drink it, the thirstier you feel. And Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, says that this world is like a shadow. If you try to catch it, you will never be able to do so. If you turn your back towards it, it has no choice but to follow you. Contented and religious people also have emotions, but they are guided by ethics and virtue of religion. Unlike the materialistic ones, they find happiness not in collecting goods, but in sharing them and helping people who need help. Materialism, on the other hand, accepts every means that leads people to personal success in this worldly life. Our common experience is that those people who are not after wealth and do not resort to unfair ways of making money are more religious, pious and respectable. They earn respect in the sight of people and acceptance in the court of Almighty God when they earn through lawful means and spend in charity.
to help the needy people.